Hi everybody, this is Guru Francis Rana from Filipino Martial Arts School and today is another episode of Bayani Talk. Hi everybody, this is Guru Francis Rana from Filipino Martial Arts School and today is a, a new episode of Bayani Talk. And with that being said, Happy New Year everybody. By the time you're watching this, the new year would have uh, uh, rung in. The 2019 is, is in the past, 2020 is in front of us and we hope that you have a great vision for your upcoming year. So, um, you know, every so often people ask me to do a demonstration. Um, now, I'll give you this much. I've been teaching Filipino martial arts now for a little bit over 10 years now, and you know, it's great. And people, are, you know, every so often I will get an ask like, hey, can you do a demo here? Can you do a demo here? Now, the one thing I'm gonna say is this, is that people have always ask me, are demos doing demonstrations beneficial on a business level? Um, Yes and no. The answer to that is yes and no. Yes, it can be beneficial, but no, it could also not yield any fruit. So there's two things that I always tell people when they're thinking about doing a demonstration. One, um, what are the demographics? Meaning, what are the people, who are the people who are going to be watching you? Okay. And number two, how far is it? Okay. Now, with, with in, in any martial arts business, we are geographically locked. And so that means, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here in Riverside County. Uh, it's going to be really rare for me to get any students uh, anywhere beyond 30 minutes away from here. Now, in many other styles of martial arts school, e e more than 10 minutes is too far. I mean, we just so happen that, you know, I'm in, I'm in the area where people who want to train with me usually travel about 30 minutes on average just to get to me. I mean, my most senior student comes all the way from San Diego. It takes him an hour and a half, sometimes two hours, depending on traffic, just to come train with me. And I'm very, very blessed. Don't get me wrong, guys. I'm very, very blessed about that. So we are geographically locked. So basically, if somebody was to ask you, hey, can you do a demonstration? You're gonna have to ask them where it is. Now, one time I was asked to do a demonstration in downtown Los Angeles. And so I said to them, yeah, I'm gonna have to charge you. You know, I'd be more than happy to do a demonstration, but I'm gonna have to charge you. And they're like, well, you know, you can, you're gonna be exposed to potential students. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Nobody's going to drive all the way from San, from downtown Los Angeles to come to my class in Riverside. They're not. So if you want me to do a demo for you, it's going to have to cost you. And, and then that's when the, the, the discussion broke down. Now, why did that have to break down? Because it's true, guys. I'm most likely not going to get any students that lives all the way in Los Angeles to come all the way to Riverside County just to train with me. It's just not. It's, it's very improbable. And let's say somebody shows up maybe once or twice. They're going to realize how hard it is, how difficult it is to travel from Los Angeles to Riverside to come to class twice a week. It is a very difficult thing. So it is unlikely that I'm going to ever get any students there. Uh, as far as exposure is concerned, again, it's like it's not like they're going to go tell everybody that say, hey, you should go to this school. No, they're not. I mean, the likelihood is they're not going to tell anybody because, you know, it's people's attention span is not that long. So you just kind of, you know, hit it. And, you know, do the demo and then just leave. Um, you know, I've been asked to do a demonstration for a basketball game during a halftime. And I'm like, okay, sure. I mean, it was cloak. It was, uh, it was at UC Riverside, so it's local to me. So I'm like, okay, geographically, that makes sense. I can get students from the UC Riverside area. And then it's so funny. It's like, then they said, okay, then now you just have to pay us for you, for you to do a demo for us. I'm like... Uh, run that by me again. You want me to do a demo for you. You're, you're calling me to do a demo for you and you want me to pay you for me to do a demo for you that you're asking me to do for you. <laughs> that was, okay, that one was a little hard because I definitely didn't do, I, first of all, I didn't do it because one, it doesn't make sense for me to be able, they're the one that called me. And secondly, I really wasn't sure if I was going to get a lot again. Most of the, most of my students demographically are between the ages of 25 and 35. And most of them are, are, are married and um, have a family. So, you know, as much as I would love to get college students, don't get me wrong, you know, my demographics doesn't support it. Now, if he was to ask me to do it, and you know, even if they weren't gonna pay me, then I would consider doing it. But then I have to pay them for them to do it. It just doesn't make sense anymore. Now, there are gonna be times, excuse me, there are gonna be times when people are just gonna ask you to do them a solid. And again, it really, if you're going to do them a solid, then just do them a solid. So I have a friend of mine who I've known for many, many years. 
and she asked me if I can if she asked if I can do a demonstration for her her kids uh, birthday party um and I said um sure what date it was and then I said okay and and then she asked me you know how much now <laughs> she's a friend of mine I've known her like I said I've known her for many many years so I said okay hold on let me calculate it how many people do you want she said, well, maybe at least two people. And I'm like, well, I'm, I think I'm going to need at least four or five. She goes, oh, okay. And then I'm like, what time it was? And then, you know, oh, that's traffic, so it's going to be hard. And then and then how many, how long you want us to do the demo? Okay. And then so I said, all right, let me calculate this. And then she's just waiting for me to answer her. I said, okay, uh, here's the cost, zero dollars. And she goes, what? I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to charge you. I mean, you're, I've known you for like forever and a day, and I love you, and I love, I love your family. So of course I'll be more than happy to do this. Now, of course, this is completely dependent on how many of my students can join me. But suffice to say, I'm pretty sure that they'll be able to go. He goes, well, you don't want any payment? Well, okay, just feed my guys. That's all I care about. Just feed my, just feed me and my people. So we went and did that demonstration. And again, doing a demonstration, you got to understand your demographics. And I'll talk more about that in another video. So I was able to do the demonstration. But did I yield any students? No, and I'm not going to yield any students because they're all the way in Lakewood. It's too far. It's not going to happen. Now, there was a couple of demonstrations that I did do in the Moreno Valley Public Library. Again, uh, they, it was, you know, they were doing a, a fair for, uh, they're talking about different ethnic groups, so they wanted Filipino martial arts to represent. So we went there. Now, it's important. Now, when you're doing this, again, we'll talk more about this in another video, that you, you follow up with everybody. So we did the demonstration knowing the type of uh, uh, customers that we, the people that were going to watch it, and we were able to do the demonstration, and I was able to garner uh, one student out of it. Moreno Valley Public Library is five minutes away from my house. My students was already there because it was our scheduled class session, and we went over there, did a demonstration, and people loved it, and I was able to get one student out of it. So uh, again, what's the cost to benefit ratio? Right now, for me, it makes sense for me to do a demonstration locally, if it's some, if it's something that I'm hoping to gain any students for, or if somebody's going to ask me to do a a demonstration that's geographically far from me that I know I will never be able to get any students from, um, then no, I'm, I will charge people for me to do a demonstration unless, again, they're my friends and family who I've known and loved for very, very many, very many years. And, of course, I will also do demonstration in um, when it comes to uh, fundraisers. Uh, if somebody wants me to do a demonstration or even do a, a session um, and then help raise funds for a good cause, I'll be more than happy to donate my time and my, I will ask my students to donate their time to do that. I won't want anything in return. If somebody wants to become my student, great. If not, that's still, that's not, that's not something I'm trying to do. But so when you want to do a demonstration, you got to know what do you want? Do you, if you're going to, if you want to get something out of it, you got to make, you got to give yourself the ability or the, the chance, the best chances to be able to do it. One, you got to make sure that geographically they're within your, you know, drivable area. And number two, are you going to, what's the cost of it for you to get there? Um, if you possibly gain only one student, will it cover your expenses? And number three, you got to make sure that it is um, something that will um, uh, uh, benefit you either personally or, um, or financially, meaning that you, if, if you're going to do this for a friend, then just do it for a friend. If it's going to do it for charity, then just do it for charity. Don't expect anything out of it. But if you are going to expect something out of it, again, it's, you know, make sure that you get paid. That's just my thought. Anyway, do you guys do agree? Do you guys agree? For those who've done demonstration before, uh, for what I said, you must be able to know your your demographics. Comment down below. And if you are looking for a Filipino martial arts school and you're in the Riverside Moreno Valley area, please visit us at www.fmaschool.com. Until then, my name is Guru Francis Serrano from Filipino Martial Arts School. Peace out. God bless and keep swinging them sticks.